Hello, hello. Hello. Oops, there we go. Oh, baby, Alan Wake 2. <laughs> we're back, we're back again. Look, I just have to show you so you know how brave I am. There was a there was a large patch today, or since last time I played, and I was like, "Oh, what? Like, you know, game's been out for a while. What the hell did they add? Look at this. They added an option to weaken the jump scares. We will not be doing that." We will not be weakening the jump scares here. We will not be doing that. I should maybe turn this up actually. Uh, yeah, but anyway, we're back. Um, playing Alan Wake 2, and then obviously later we will be doing the state of play, which I just have to make sure I'm almost, I'm like certain it does, it is today. And let me make sure that I know what time it is. State of play. Uh,. No, I need to go like PlayStation. PlayStation's account. You ready for state of play? Yeah, today at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Pacific. So we've got three hours. Uh, I actually haven't watched one of these state of plays in a while because they've been kind of disappointing, but we'll see. We'll get to that when we get to it. Did we? I think we just got a bunch of stuff. Hold on. We don't need to look at the radio, but it looked like I got. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. No, not that stuff. Hold on. Oh, shit. Maybe I... What were those, like, grayish pages? Because I'm out of this. Like, I'm out of this whole area. May oh, maybe I need to go here? Goals? Maybe not. Maybe I don't. Maybe it was just giving, showing me shit that I already had. I don't even remember how to play the game. I know Middle Mouse is... How do I turn the flashlight? There we go. Oh, this is one of those fucking things. On a molecular level, where the hell is he? Lapping with your meaningless existence. Oh, there he is. Regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you, taking <laughs> you for a ride. Casey, 
making you crazier. Okay. Okay. I feel like we're about to leave the shadow area. I don't know if that's true or not, but it, it seems like we're about to leave. Because story beat stuff seems like it kind of caught up. To just like recap a little bit for myself. What is happening right now is before what we did as Saga Anderson. Because this is before Wake washes up at the lake. And some of the stuff that's happening is like referencing like that he hasn't like woken up yet. Like this is during the time that he was missing. So I think he's about to wash up there. Like we're about to get out of here. Because we did all that stuff, and like we finished all the chapters, and we ran away from like the beast or whatever. Am I even going the right way? I'm back here. What is? What am I doing? Oh, okay, that's right. Okay. That's right. We went through this whole fucking zone and we ran away from, I don't even remember what they called it, the fucking shadow beast or whatever. Now we're going to leave the station and we can go to where in real life our wife would be. The station had changed. I was closer now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I don't need to turn that off. So fucking cool, dude. All right, so maybe we maybe we do want this because we can carry three now, and we don't need to go in here. I don't think inventory is looking these. We have the little trinkets. All right. Now, remember, we gotta, this is like, this is some actual survival horror shit when we're Alan. It's not like Saga. We gotta fucking run. Oh, shit, it's actually right in front of us. Never mind. We're actually fine. Except I did. No, this area was like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I could go back over here, but it was like so, I couldn't fucking figure out where any of this shit was. Parliament Tower. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Should I run over there? It's just an echo of the real thing. Let me see if I can figure anything out. Like this. Let's me go up here. I'm just gonna keep checking the map for a second. Okay, no, this is not where we need to be. No, no, no. Give me this back. We need to go in there. Yes, and then because there should be an echo like right to the right. Like there's no reason to not grab this. Night Springs! 
there's a demon on us. Okay, so add the light here. Now, it should be... Is there someone on me? God, this game is fucking freaky. It should be like right here. God. <laughs> yeah, it's like right here. An echo. I just don't remember what the fucking echo- Oh, no, that's- Are echoes... Words of power? Or are they the little blue things? Hold on. So hold on. Jesus Christ. Is it this? Well, something over here. Oh, it's right here. It is a word of power. Am I looking at it right? Hold on, maybe I need to be on this side, like this? Ah! Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> the echo is that faded blue dot? On God? Okay, yeah, it's definitely... Okay. Also, hello, Sora. So it's definitely like... Oh my god. This took me... Because I don't want to... Like, I've already been here, so I feel like I should be able to solve this shit. Jesus Christ. How do I use a flare again? How do I use anything again? Ah! Put the light in, put the light in, put the light in, put the light in! Okay. I'm safe here. <laughs> yes, it's this fucking zone that I'm in right now. There's these two right here. And there's this. This is a word of power. Right? Or it's a box. It, it's, no, it's a briefcase or something. Should, it's probably like right here. I passed it. Here it is. Ooh! I'm, I'm gonna keep going into the Mind Palace on accident 10,000 times. If I remember the echo is... Yeah, 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 yeah. So that is this one. Because that is... Like, this is where the break room was that was, like, way up top. And this is the echo that was, like, near the billboard. But this one... Maybe I have to get up here? It's just so weird because it's like right here. <laughs> like there's nothing, like I'm standing directly on it, so it's... It's like above me, but... Okay, how do I... Oh my goodness gracious, how do I... Oh my, I need to know what the controls are. What? How do I open up my inventory? Control. How do I use quick? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Three, two. Okay, okay, okay. Flashbang. Like we got tons of flashbangs now. So. Let's take one of these. Alright, so. 
right, let's take this back. I actually want to go up here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I came to some pause. And you're in these venues. Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. I can open this? Nope. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alex Casey, help me! I'm in a nightmare of my own creation. I've just looped around. I- the map makes no sense to me, I swear to god. I'm like... Like, the direction I go on the map is not representative of how, where I'm going. Like, how am I entering, like... How am I running in these directions? Okay, I can't go over there. I need a mini-map is what I need. Okay, so maybe I do need to put this here and I need to go up this way. The map makes no sense to me. It doesn't work. Okay, I'm right here. Where the fuck am I? I just went up this. So now if I turn right and just go down this way... Should be a fucking ladder, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just tried to jump. Okay. Now I need to go up this ladder, so I need to- Okay, okay, we just- I'm so fucked. <laughs> I, why have I never learned any navigational awareness ever? I could play a thousand games and never learn- Awareness. Oh my god, here's the fucking one I was looking for for 10,000 years. Where's the fucking blue dot, though? Oh my god, here. Oh my god, we did it. Wash away the sins of this city. But some sins. Oh my god, we did it. Erased. Not by the rain. Or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniel. Dr. Jack Daniels! <laughs> bruises in my soul, scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling, and I never stopped drinking. Amen to that, brother. See, I don't even know if those do anything for me, but I love the fucking. I just love that. I just love the little bits that we get. It's the atmosphere. You do it for how cool it is, not for any fucking story or... Cause that, like that is about, I guess the echoes are like, they're like tying into Alex Casey. Oh Jesus fucking, oh my God. Okay, where am I, where the hell am I going? Okay, so if I go through here, I need to go down and then turn around I don't know what the- See this- I remember going through this, and then you're like... Fucked. Cause I- it, look! I went through here, and now I'm here! What's the- what's the point of a map? Look, like, I get it. Trust me, I get it. The point is, you're in this fucking nightmare world and nothing, like, works correctly. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna fight the shadows. Like, I get it. But also, how am I supposed to fucking navigate this shithole? Okay, where the fuck am I? I'm like, oh yeah, 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 this is where I couldn't find this ladder. So this ladder doesn't help me. Except maybe it does. Okay, there's the fucking blue one. 
See what in the goddamn? Wait a goddamn second. He's done it. Poised to tear into you the second you let your guard down. You thought you had it, but you knew what the hell you were doing. Oh. Unless you got lucky. You didn't deserve to get lucky. You blinked at the wrong time. Let your mind wander. Because the entire time I was looking for the other one. Because this is where I was looking. You gotten turned around somewhere along the way. Oh my god. Coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere. It's like a cool glass of water for the first time. Like a fucking await, like goddamn desert. Cause the whole time I, the echo is right here. That echo that I just saw was right here on the damn mini map. But you see it from here. And from here, I can see the black dot like right here. But you have to go all the way over there. So I'm climbing up here and I'm like, where, how the fuck do I see that? This one, obviously, I'm not even looking for it. It's way off in the distance. I need them to put the, the icon, like, where you are, not where the fucking dot is. Oh, my God. I don't blame myself at all. Because that's, like, insane. Okay, now... Wake. See, cause then, and then watch, cause this one is the other one, where you go up these fucking stairs, and then you're like, street level. Yup. <laughs> oh, brother. And I walked past another container that I don't remember. Okay, well... I don't give a fuck. It, it's awesome. Like, again, don't get me wrong. It is awesome, but it makes it so fucking hard. I just wish, like, I just wish once you went through the door that does that, like, on the map, it would be, like, arrow, you know, like, pointing you to where you are. So then at least, like, once you've gone through it once, you could be like, okay, this is how you go through. Because holy shit. I, I'm i not good with this shit. I'm never going to remember. Like, there, like, for me right now, there is no way I can get back over here. I just can't. Okay. Is this, this is part, this is where I'm going. Yes. This is where I'm actually going now. Is that a phone? The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. I think this shit is so cool. Phones that should never ring but do. Hey Alan, thank God it picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the Oval app? Are you Talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. The zoom out is so fucking cool. We were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower to make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It already manifests as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? <laughs> um, why is my flashlight away? Don't fucking do that shit. Wait, is there another can I call somebody? Call a friend? Conversation? With who? Hello? Maybe 
Maybe it's on like the other side or something. Like over here. Hello? Anyone want to talk to me? No? Okay. <laughs> we had a conversation there. That's why it's marked. I don't know. There's a fucking echo. I see it. I can find this one. No problem. Writer. The cult using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? The coolest part about all this shit is it's like Alan Wake is like unconsciously having Alex Casey. I can't remember if that's the. Yeah, Alex Casey. Alan Wake is like unconsciously having Alex Casey fucking research his own mystery and is discovering his character researching his mystery. It's. It's fucking insane. Also, I drank too much coffee. I'll be right back. Fastest piss. Oh! Fastest piss in the West. Almost knocked over something. This desk is so sensitive. <laughs> there's, a, there's a whiskey bottle at the far end that keeps all my Switch games from falling over. That would have been a nightmare. Okay. A nightmare within a nightmare. Hello, eyes. Hello. All right, we're back in this shit. I don't know if you guys caught it, but there was a patch for Alan Wake 2 that allowed people to turn down the audio and visual jump scares. I did not turn it on because I am not a coward. <laughs> we will not be interfacing with that. <gasps> <laughs> They got me with the micro scare, so the real scare didn't get me. Set to go off in the <laughs> They had me in the first half, the second half missed me. Oh man. 
Yo, this is like Evil Within 2. Any y'all play Evil Within 2? They got that... They got that freak cameraman that traps people inside of images and stuff. <gasps> kind of like Pegasus. Oh, this is my apartment. Holy fuck. It's such a shame they dropped that game in the second half. The first half of Evil Within 2 is so fucking good. Alice. Pick photos for exhibition posters. Oh fuck, these are my nightmares! This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? <laughs> Bedroom beside the front door is insane. That's exactly how my apartment is. <laughs> Quite literally right when you enter. Well, well, it's not like this. It's not really by the front door. Imagine my front door is right here. You walk in, boom, bedroom. That's how it is. This is, this is insane. An apartment having this big of a front entrance is insane. You're pay you're paying five thousand dollars a month for this apartment. First off, elevator that drops you right off in the lobby, and then you're er, what do you call this? The foyer, foyer of an apartment. <gasps> Spiral. This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Bro, like an empty apartment where everything seems like slightly off is so fucking freaky. This is video camera. Okay, the memory card. The memory card inside. It's gonna play like the fucking jump scare shit. Video art doc on screens, multiple. Multiple. Focal point of the dark place. <laughs> what is this? Anything I can click on? Give me these batteries. Oh no, that's just... Okay. Part one. <laughs> just... Part one. Who is writing these? Blink. When I was younger, photography was everything to me. I moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. Yeah, look at this fucking apartment. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. This is such a sick setup. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots. Um, creative but if his work makes money, you don't have any pressure to... I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. Make money, you know? Like, you can freely... I was pursue... But you should have had time! And that nod at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but... <laughs> like, you have free time to pursue what you wanted. Because you didn't have the, like, pressure of having to make money. Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. 
IMO. When I didn't like. But I don't know. Don't take my advice. I'm not married. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, he disappeared in the dark place. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. That'll fuck people up. Hell, I do too sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. Scratch. The lamp flickering in the back is fucking freaky. I'm calling this is that this lamp? There's no lamp behind me. That's real. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Uh. What's going on? Oh, shit. It's calling us. Hans Zimmer be like. I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story. Initiation. To project myself through the dark place. To look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere. Loop me back. I was writing this story. And in the story, I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. I... Th I mean, honestly, I'm like kind of with you. I think this is FMV for real. Yeah, this is FMV. I hate that motherfucking shit. <laughs> I love these songs. Oh, you do see it now. I felt like it wasn't showing before. Okay, you do see it. I, yeah, I can't turn it off. I wish I fucking could because I hate that shit. I mean, maybe there is a way, but I haven't fucking figured it out. Epic has no, like, it has no, <laughs> like, settings. There's, like, no settings at all. Uh, 
There's there's like nothing. You go to the settings and it's like there's just nothing there. Yeah, that's the problem. It it fucks with the tone so much. I'm gonna do a quick search while this is playing. Turn off epic chi notifications. Oh, you press this fucking button? That's- come on, bro. <laughs> it's- It's the fucking- You gotta go to the social tab and turn on do not disturb mode. And it just turns off all, all notifications, friend invites, everything. Jesus Christ, how long has this service been available? Like one of the fucking biggest, like, one of the biggest video game corporations now because Fortnite rakes in billions of dollars and they can't implement like the simplest setting. Their fucking launcher just has nothing. Drives me crazy. Only reason I'm using it is because this game's not gonna be on Steam for probably another, I don't even know, six months or something. It's still giving me the fucking notifications! <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like fixed it. Oh my god, whatever. Fuck this shit ass <laughs> monster. Oh my god. Let's recap what you've done so far. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger, Mr. Scratch. Yeah. Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. Mm -hmm. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. You're following pretty well. Edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time- it... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I need the light switch. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. That's rad. Alan. 
We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks. Cult of the tree. Murder rituals. Victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness. Possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? A cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. They have the clicker? How? If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Take me in. Back to the Mind Palace, baby! Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. The way of the future, the way of the future, the way of the future. The cult has the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Well, where else would he be? Scratch looks just like Wake. Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. <laughs> they look the same. Or vice versa. These two people who look the same are clearly connected. Thank you. I wanted to get this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while. I think we got case board shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, we got tons of shit in here. Alan Wake interview? Wake just gave oh, they just wanted us to go anywhere. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. Yeah, we got to get the clicker, baby. Then we find the cult. Where is the clicker? The cult of the tree has it. Give me this. Okay. Oh, we still do have stuff here. Lunchbox found at the bottom of the waterfall in Cauldron Lake. Cauldron Lake lunchbox. Cauldron Lake lunchbox. Cold stashes. Cauldron Lake stash. I feel like we're missing one right here. Uh, the story. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? With you and Alan Wake? Holy mother of God. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Uh, the story changes our reality bit by bit. Process is gradual. Fiction coming into contact with the dark place has the power to change reality. Oh, Jesus, mother of God. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we don't stop it, Scratch will use the story to permanently change the reality. How to stop the story? This doesn't really help us, but this says what happens if we don't. Let's scroll out a bit. <laughs> Got done. Uh, oh, hold on. I can't even read what that says. Must get the clicker before Scratch. With it, the story can be changed in Scratch. Uh, this is how we stop it. What is the clicker? Uh, we technic- we don't know. Alan knows. The dark place can be accessed through the bottom of Cauldron Lake. Technically, kind of, but, like, you don't literally just go into the lake, so I don't know how we actually do that. Wake was trapped in dark place for 13 years. There is an entity inside the dark place called the Dark Presence. What is the Dark Presence? Flashlight seems... To weaken what? To weaken Taken. Oh, we're just skipping that shit. Light in the dark presence. <laughs> Inside a bright light, Saga fell safe like nothing could hurt her. Oh, this is the stuff we got these earlier. These are the manuscript pages. Um, Scratch and the dark presence are inter interchangeable. Okay, that goes here. In the form of Scratch, the Dark Presence is editing Wake's story. Wants to turn the world into a fucking nightmare. Yep, that goes there. Some other strange reality, the Dark Place, merged with ours. This place and the Dark Place... Uh, together are called the Overlap. This would go here. Nope, just kidding. This would go here. Oh my god. <laughs> A dimension that <laughs> brain expanding Sherlock. Wild. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. The overlap. I've got a thousand clues. I love doing this shit though. I love the fucking cork board. I feel like a genius even though I'm not really doing anything. Okay. What about I entered the call yeah, we entered the overlap through the witch. Oh my lord. Can I scroll out anymore? Bedtime folk, bedtime stories, folk tales, urban legends, all create the overlap. An overlap needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality eroded by repeated dark lore and a counterpoint crafted in depths of the the dark place, connecting the story on the other side. The reality-changing influence of the Dark Place flowed like water flowed, where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative. Uh, dark Press? No? The overlap? How to enter? What the hell? Light and Dark Presence? The reality change. Oh, this is part of the reality changing stuff over here. The dark place makes writing come true, taking something real and nudging it. They're treating people's lives like toys. Can Wake be trusted with that kind of power? Can anyone? What, what is he supposed to do? He doesn't even want it. The stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response, the better. The darker, the better. Uh, light and dark presence? How to enter. How to stop the story. Dark presence. Overlap. How to enter. Light and dark presence. This has nothing to do with the clicker. Nah. Yeah. How to stop the story. What the hell? How does it change reality? Oh, I thought we were done because we got the little bottom part. I guess this means we're done. And then I can't use this yet. Okay. Cult of the tree. The cult could be followers of Scratch. They have the clicker. Who, Who's involved? Nope, never mind. C 
occult psychology? <laughs> they have the clip. Uh, part of their goal? Colt, oh, Colt's working for someone, okay. Murder at Cauldron Lake. The Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. Thank you, Ben, thank you. What kind of case is this? Case closed. I love how the case is closed after that. They're like, well, he's been murdered and turned into a monster. Case closed. We didn't actually really solve any of it. We don't know who killed him or technically like how. But uh, yeah, we'll take that. All right, we're done with our case board for now. And we got to go interview Wake. You're hiding okay. pages. Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Give me the pages. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Yoink. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Oh shit. The cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery. Oh, we're doing the same thing. Well, okay, Wake's whatever. Fabled clicker for the first time. In the hands of the cult of the tree, her mind reeled from what the whole oh, no, never mind. was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. Back to the case board, baby. What is this? <laughs> Alan Wake interview. Where is the clicker? At Watery. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. I want to know. I need an explanation on why the hell uh, Saga has all this crazy power too. Yet she thinks what Alan is saying is like psychotic. But she has like... Like, this profiling thing that she's doing is clearly, like, supernatural. It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. Bro, we're really going in alone? Investigation, and I don't see a badge on that... Flannel. You can switch between Alan and Saga stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. Oh, fuck. Don't give me a choice. Don't give me a choice. I don't want a choice. <laughs> Adds one charge. Saga's blast light. Yeah, I don't need that, because I have one that's like... Wait. Oh, I have this one. Saves you from death, but shatters. This isn't that good. Th these are better. Alright, well, we're gonna... I mean, we'll just do them, like... Piece by piece, I guess. We'll just do one, and then one, and then one, and then one. We just played Alan Wake for three chapters, so. Pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I 
think I wrote them. I, I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. You got anything I can ask, Casey? No? You're chilling? All right. Take him back to the case board. Cold to the tree. He remembers writing many pl pages while in the dark place. Where the fuck would that go? Who's involved? Cult goal. Cult ritual. Cult psychology? R writing part of the ritual. If Wake is the origin of the pages, then no cult connection? Unless the cult is working with Scratch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, except there should be points of interest in here. No, not, they're in this building, not in this room. I'm the only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, 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 that's not how this works. You're a civilian, and we don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. Hi, welcome. Hey. I've been here for a while. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. Past favorite Deerfest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. Why are you looking directly at me, you freak? BB dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. I think we need to go this way. And welcome to Coffee World Hotel Washington. Wait. It's the brothers. These guys have like 10 businesses. <laughs> they have a fucking coffee company. They have a beer company. They have an amusement park. They do travel tours. Jawa. The fun is percolating. Yay! Third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir. I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. The hell is this guy's problem, bro? Just unplug it. You're not watching it while you're sleeping. Anything back here, though? Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? Would you like a complimentary tea or can I? Well, that almost makes up for the ineptitude. Jesus Christ. Where's these? Where's the 
Where's these things? Okay, this is locked. I can't force it. Still locked. Wait. Something's over here. In one of these rooms. Is it this room? It is this room. Am I crazy? Is this one of those fucking things where it's just not going away? Yeah, it's like right here. I think this was the radio that I listened to about the beef jerky or something. It's so annoying that they don't they don't get marked as completion very well. Okay, I don't need to be in here. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, what am I doing? Track down the clicker in Watery. Drive to Watery. Where's my car? Let's go. Take me. say this in front of wake but are you sure this is a good idea going on your own no it's a horrible idea assuming we believe the page i need to check this out we need to find the cult you never you go alone remember. and this scratch guy the evil doppelganger it must be true or else this guy can't write for shit the quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before backup even arrives. Watery Washington. They're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Are these places real? I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer. This place looks like a shit hole. I should ask around. Local girl. Local girl. Worse here. More like underwatery. I'll and have to tell Casey that one later. And I can say that I've lived in a place like this. <laughs> well, close. Fishing rules. Do not feed the fish. No catch and release. Cook what you catch. Missing dog! Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that. But idle hands are the devil's playground. So, well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. Your job doesn't seem that bad. You're just kind of chilling. Are you giving me a hand in helping out? Uh, I'm supervising. You're not even doing anything. And, and it's super. Oh, you guys are all just chilling. Can't be that bad. Imagine being a dock worker at like a big fucking port would like suck ass though. Like, I mean, that's a lot of fucking work, but this, like, this is all you got to deal with. That can't be that bad. I'm sure it's not like fun. Can I fuck with the breaker? I need to find a map. Go to the fucking general store. The general store is out of business. Yep, uh, okay. You're having a midlife crisis. I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm not equipped to deal with that right now. Watery's definitely quaint. Okay, we don't need to shit on it too much. Hello. <laughs> you hear that shit, dude? There's something in there. Siamese catch of the day. We have good fish here. 
Fresh out of the lake. Yeah, the fucking cursed lake. Oh. Alright. This... No one will make it alive through the night. Look at the damn staircase! This is like the fucking, uh... This is the shadows of Innsmouth right here. This is the goddamn town where everyone turns into a fish. Ooh. Can I? Uh. Mayor Setter will stand for justice. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Anyone running against you? Actually, you're probably not the... Well, actually, I was going to say, you're probably like a campaign worker since you're here doing this, but honestly, you're in a, such a small town, you're probably the fucking mayor. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. For what? <laughs> he only starts talking after I walk away. All right. Hey, how, how are you doing over here? It's not raining, so I don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna leave you to that. Everyone in this town's fucking insane. Anything over here? I don't know what I'm doing, man. I have like an allergic reaction to just running into the building that is most likely to have something happening. Hey, what are you doing? Enjoy your day. Thanks! All right, fine. Let's go in the big fucking building that probably has shit. Actually, no. Never mind. I'm going over here. What's your deal? Not a talker. <laughs> Anything over here? Anyone got a map? You hear that shit? Something's fucking talking in there. Holy shit. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can <laughs> you talk into the boat? Someone's in here. Ooh, yoink. Ooh, yoink. This is why you explore. Oh my god, what happened to the frames? Let's you get loose from the mooring. I hitched her up so soon. What happened, bro? This vessel has a mind of its own. I touched too many physics objects. Game's fucked now. Oh hey. Hello. Do you have a second? Ugh. Long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are old. Oh my god, that's so freaky! Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Everyone in this fucking town. Well, I guess this isn't Bright Falls, but that's the fucking second person now that's been like, oh hey, it's been a long time. And I've never been here. Oh, I love that shit. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother. Well, the brothers own everything. Well, what used to be the bridge. Are you from here? Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. That's why he knows me. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. Oh, man. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? That's, I fucking love that shit. Take me into the here. My game is on, like, fucking house arrest right now. What is going on? Okay, trailer. Blum said there's a trailer park. A trailer park? 
Dark is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Oh, great. Okay. Why did we not... Okay. Cauldron Lake Rhyme. We found these already. Dark Substance of Strange Dolls? Dark... Rhyme at Cauldron Lake. Who? Oh, this right here. Who made these? What are these for? Okay. I need to find Ilmor Cascella. Yeah, we need to go in here first. It's Adi. The fuck are you doing here? Okay then. Catchy tune. Represent Finland, baby. Nothing? How could you? It's a fucking lot of people. I don't know what I'm supposed to learn from that. What about this? Moose Fest! Moose Fest meets Suomi Hall. Raffles, karaoke, and skits. Glogi, Karvapusti, and Karhalon Piraka. Come one, come all. I would eat this. If that's food. I think it must be. <laughs> we read that. Welcome to Coffee World. One of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ilmo Koskela, who, with the help of his brother, Yako, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Like, small town amusement parks are fucking rad, dude. Where they just got, like, weird-ass shit. Like, local amusement parks. You're bound to get, like, maybe injured a little bit more. Maybe roughed up. They got some weird-ass food or something. And my Twitch shit is crashing. My chat has been destroyed. <laughs> Alright, we're better. We're back. What the hell happened? Oh, shit. What is Coffee World about, Ilmo? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages. And right here, in our hometown of Watery, it's got all the rides, thrills, and excitement you could ask for. And of course, lots of delicious, fresh coffee, both hot and iced. Put that in. <laughs> Put that fucking in. How did this unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you would say. Well, what's even more important to me then my many successful businesses is our hometown. With my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for out-of-towners. Which attraction should the visitors be sure not to miss? Oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible. But the Slow Roaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic. And the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You never know what treasures you might find. Coffee at least, I bet. Yes. Is this Watery's Nessie? An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors, claiming it was captured during the last full moon. A, mag a majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water or an elaborate prank? A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature? Or a submarine? <laughs> submarine? <laughs> Relic from the Cold War era. Yeah, bro, there's a submarine in the lake. A lonely wanderer searching for companionship, companionship and compassion? Or a fearsome monster out for blood? These questions, among others, haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record after one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming Watery's waters and making a rare but opportune appearance. This titillating spotting might just be the event of the year as we die. <laughs> it's the event of the year, something that was seen by one man. 
As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all of our readers to a naming competition. What should our local beast be called? Watery Wanda? Shelly the Sea Monster? Send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations to follow as the story unfolds. Yeah, it'll definitely unfold. A, terrifying, a terrifyingly strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. A film, Tom the Poet, a film by Thomas Zane. A pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness. Thomas Zane as the diver. Barbara Yeager as the dark presence. Cynthia Weaver as the Lady of Light. Emil Hartman as the assistant, written and directed by Thomas Zane, based on a novel by Alan Wake. Everything is being corrupted by the dark place. The dark doppelganger in the art and life of Thomas Zane. Originally, Thomas Zane, the auteur. Guest lecture by the president of the Bright Falls Film Society, Thomas Emerson. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark double in his films, The Poet, The Writer, The Diver, Thomas the Rhymer. 24th of November, 2023, Watery Suomi Hall. Pog. Looking forward to that. Ooh. Oh, this is fucking weird. Oh, this is another... We can switch reality here. This is Alan Wake's, like, dressing room inside the talk show. Hello? Hello, Zach? What the fuck? My game just alt-tabbed itself. Fucking Epic does this shit to me. Hello, miss. Excuse me. I mean, you're being a little rude. No one else wants to talk to me. Um. Okay, well that guy, fucking Ilmo, isn't even here. Oh, here's the map, bro. Oh, this shit is huge. Oh, we're going to Coffee World, baby. This is where we need to go. This, they said this is where the brother was or whatever. Hold on, my shit is like... Oh my god. It started again. Wait, is it... Is my... Okay. This game is so whack. <laughs> it, it like, it, it gives some bad delay sometimes, this game. Alright, there's someone over here that I need to talk to. I have, nope, nope, nope. There's someone over here that I need to talk to. It's like after playing for like an hour or so, like the delay gets really fucking bad. A trailer park. Yeah, I need to go that way. He's that mom's family was from Sweden. Oh. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Okay. Are you who I need to talk to? Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. That's great, I man. That taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. That's great, dude. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure, I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. 
I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Bro, you ain't. Do you think that is work? No. You're the professor. No, no, no. Really smart, just I would not. Against multiple dudes? There's no way, my dude. All right. Hey, Sava. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Shit, dude. Just say you want me dead. Yippee! Get me in the sauna. Gotta be hot as shit with all these clothes on. All right, no, no one's in the sauna. All right, we good here? Did I find the person I needed to? Yeah, I guess I did. Okay. Oh my god, why does the game keep fucking all dabbing? We gotta go this way on foot. Hey, Saga! Over here! I can't help loving everyone knowing who I am. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just oh, we did talk to these guys, though, actually. Webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Yes, yes, yes! Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but... Uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well... We're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets. We love you. normal. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. See that shit moving around in the back? Oh, like oh that's like, are those cars? Can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? Oh, that's gotta be part of Coffee World. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry, they've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl. Oh are. shit! Like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Oh fuck! So what is Coffee World? It's bringing back the hey. We're sorry about your daughter drowning. Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. Oh fuck! I love that shit. Floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking though. <laughs> you know we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So, your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. <laughs> really. Fuck off. No, he does Just not. There for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. I'm halfway there, man. Profiling may give me the answers I need. All right, profile. Bro, my shit is all fucked up. Well, at least I hope. I hope it's fine for you guys, because my shit keeps getting delayed like crazy. I need to just turn my preview stream off or something. I don't know what's going on. 
And my chat keeps crashing too. And Epic keeps alt tapping my fucking game. I'm losing my damn mind. All right. Uh, where are we going? Nope. Take me to the profiling table. Actually, just take me to the radio first. Okay, profiling table. Ghost colors. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping. Fuck. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. I love that shit. They're they're telling me it's an urban legend. Is that what they really think? No, it's all true. It's all true. It's all true. It's all true. Get the fucking troops. Get ready. The shadows are coming. It's all true. It's not a legend. It's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. We lied. We lied. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? White's laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. Fuck, dude! Have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. I cannot say how much I fucking love the through line of a story of her living here being affecting everyone's lives. Everyone in this fucking town thinks that she lives here and I fucking love it. It's so fucking freaky. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. It's gonna like end up being some freak shit where like it changes reality and she she begins to question whether she lived here or didn't. Ilmo owned the trailer park where I lived, calls me his funniest resident. I had a life in watery. Finally someone appreciates my jokes, but seriously, what kind of life did I live here? We haven't gotten to that part. Rose recognized me in the diner at Bright Falls, says I moved away after Logan died. What is Logan's part in this story? Logan is not dead, but what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. God! What does Ilmo know? Ilmo is certain that I used to live here, that I owned a trailer and was part of the community. All joking aside... Yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to get to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Great. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Yeah, let's go on this fucking freak ass forest trail. Yeah, we also we keep your spare keys uh at the fucking amusement park. The Costellas <laughs> lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? Oh, see, that's the fucking thing. Your memories are affected and everyone else's are normal. Let me be right. I'm my brain is expanding. The spare key is a coffee world. Your memory is the only one that has been affected. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people. Crazy. Oh, my God. It's so fucking framey. Holy shit. Can I read the story? Is it spreading? There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. 
Let me reset my game here. Actually, hold on. I, I don't know if I can... I think I need to save. Hold on. Let's run back to... There's a save in this little thing. Let's, let's reset it. I did read online that, like, entering watery for the first time can fuck up your game, and that is clearly happening right now. Or at least that this was one of the biggest problem places as far as performance goes. Coffee, I need coffee. And then... Let's reset this. Let's reset. This. What time is it anyway? 12.30. Okay. We're fine. We got like another hour and a half. Before our state of play. Oh, the cloud's sinking. Modern gaming. All right. Be right back. Okay. Let's hope everything is handy dandy now. Doubt, but it was worth it's worth a try. Well, it's, it's actually immediately better right now, so. Story is affecting more people's memories. Will my memories change? I am saying right now, I am trying to call it that... Maybe it's not just her. You were a handsome deer. But... I'm calling it that her memories are the ones that have changed and not everyone else's. Okay, yeah, the gameplay is way better now. We're back. We're so back. There still seems to be some delay, but it is what it is. Thanks for the call, guys. Okay, so if the game starts performing badly, I'll just have to restart the game. Not that bad. LMAO and the game just saved right when I crossed there. I just needed to walk slightly farther. All right. We're back in the fucking woods, though. 
I love how good this game looks, though. Uh. What was that? Get the fucking gun out. Am I gonna get attacked by a fucking wild animal? Ah! Sounds like someone chopping wood. <gasps> maybe it's just dudes? Never mind, I was like, maybe it's just dudes throwing axes, like, doing some axe throwing. No, it's a fucking shadow. Fucking ghoul. Where is this person? Run, 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 run. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to readjust. Okay, turn around. Get fucked. More people turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Yo, that's that's Resident Evil 4 training right there. Resident Evil 4 helped me. Okay. The game has immediately gotten like 10 times as dark. Uh, we, we want to go right first so we can look at this whole area. Look at that. This is up top. Ooh. Another rhyme. Oh, fuck the nursery rhyme. Free bash shit. Moose doll. Deer doll. Here we go, baby. The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Gentle beast with a beautiful crown. I would say moose instead of deer. Runs through the woods. So we got woods. We got the moose. Okay, okay. Oh, that was all I needed. Oh shit. What happened? What what changed though? He's saying, oh shit, I don't even know what changed. This? Am I gonna get attacked? <laughs> what changed the crossbow bolts? Where? Where though? I don't even have a crossbow. Bro, where? Slightly this way. Oh, here. Can I crouch? I'm losing my mind. This is what they're talking about, right? <laughs> Crossbow bolts! I'm losing my damn mind. Is there is there a crouch? There's no crouch, I don't think. I cannot maybe, maybe I can't take him because I don't have the crossbow. I'm just gonna say that's the reason, because I don't understand what's going on here.
Okay, whatever. Whatever, I don't care. Oh! That's new. Jesus. A charm. That's the same charm I already charm I already have. Yeah. Saves me, but shatters. Alright, well that's what changed. We got a big old fucking moose now. Great. Go over here. Cult symbol, cult symbol, alert. There's a case up there. You gotta go up and around. Someone's gonna throw axes at me. Cult symbol. Never mind, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, man. What had kept watery afloat all these years? A century, if not the more. water. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists. Dude, they're actually insane. Koskala brothers are cracked. Coffee theme fun for all ages. The Kalavala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The darkness. The road was in sight. That was coming fast. There's another cult stash. Yippee! I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. Motherfucking sirens. Looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree means business. Some fucking Jack Daniels and bullets. I can just go this way. Uh, what is this actually? Oh, it's a propane tank. I have a shit ton of propane tanks. <laughs> All right. Well, if I'm ever. You know what? You know what? Put this shit on uh, four. It's got like the same inventory system as Resident Evil Two. Resident Evil 4, I mean. Resident Evil 4 also. You feel? Cabin. I can't help but move slowly because I don't want to miss anything. But it's also fucking freaking me out. I hate... I just want to run past. Oh, this is a... Yeah, yeah, safe house, safe house. Oh, 
We like compared to Wake, we have so much shit as Saga. Like, look at all this fucking ammo, and we have two guns, propane tanks, we have a thousand fucking flares. Like, we are so insanely set. And we have the charms. Wake doesn't stand a damn chance. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. Yeah, no shit. For the horror story to involve her was one thing. But involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No. Not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. <laughs> that already happened, though. Oh, wait, can I get in here? Another one of those cult boxes. Hey, if you take the crossbow, ow! Give me a crossbow. Put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code as asked. Motherfucker. We're not going to be able to solve that right now. Anything over here? Oh, that's fucking nightmare. Bro, I want the crossbow. Here's crossbow bolts, but I, I, I bet you he's gonna show that on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't pick him up because I don't have it yet. Crossbow bolts all over the fucking place. Okay, well, I have no way of knowing the code right now. I don't think. Let me just go back and do my case board. The few things that I've picked up, just in case. But yeah, those, these these aren't helping. Prime found a shooting range near Watery. Moose doll. Deer doll. All right, yeah, it's not gonna help us. All right, let's keep moving. Fuck. I'm going this way, right? Yeah. Picnic area. There's always stuff at the picnic. Oh, come on. There's got to be like a lunch box up here. Bet. Lunchbox? Cuckoo clock designer Terry Feldman.
Yo! You made a cuckoo clock with a deer? Holy shit, bro. <laughs> this guy's a master of his craft. No one's ever done that before. Oh, fuck. And the smoked teriyaki. Hickory, not nah, smoke teriyakis. Just picnic area. Oh, 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 more stuff down here. Ooh, nursery rhyme. More of those rhymes. Do I hear something? Yes. I hate this fucking place. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. Let's put the deer here. Yes. Oh, motherfucker. Oh no! Ow, motherfucker. I hate the shadow dogs. Am I hitting this thing? There's another one over there too. Give me the shotgun. Where is it? Fucking hiding. Jesus Christ! That thing's so strong! Is that another one? No, it's a trash bag. The dogs are fucked. this charm on my bracelet thank you thank you saga increases resilience against being stat yo oh, that's pretty good let's just get rid of this one nice more shotgun ammo oh no that's handgun oh this is uh that's a sign that's like more lunchbox 
Lunchbox. I knew there was a lunchbox. More of those kids' lunchboxes. Here it is, baby. I lowered my rifle. Standing on the car's roof, I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople, cautiously emerging from their hiding places, surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved back and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly, a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. That has nothing to do with the crossbow. <laughs> All I care about is the damn crossbow, bro. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. We found the cuckoo clock. Okay, weapon upgrade. Shotgun, baby. Reload speed. D deals increased damage to enemies that are stumbling and knocked down. Kill an enemy to restore. This is sick. The report of the shotgun rang in the air. The enemy fell. Saga felt a surge of new energy. She'd been dead tired before, but was ready for more now. She would get through this. She continued on. I'm maxing out the shotgun. Just telling you now. Ooh, we unlocked this. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. All right, that's... Yeah, we need to go back down. No, 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 we need to go. Can't fucking tell if what I'm hearing is in game or real life. The audio in this game is insane. Oh, there's gonna be a freak. There's a freak. That took way too many bullets. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was just a hiker. Sorry, you shouldn't be up here right now. I'm cleaning house. I'm gonna get attacked down here. I fucking know it. You never want to be near the fucking water. Maybe I'm fine. Okay. Ooh! Lunchbox. Lunchbox, lunchbox. Ooh, look at this house! And another lunchbox. Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. 
I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews. But I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, no problem, bro. I'll just unread those. Can I get there? I don't think I can, right? Oh, I cannot. Not yet, at least. It's been fucking swallowed by the lake. Is this... I wanted to know if, like, this is Cauldron Lake. It's probably not. Yeah, we cannot go to the ranger's cabin right now. Fuck this shit. Get me out of here. Every little thing freaks me out. Someone's fishing here? Do you have a fucking license? Don't tell me the Ferris wheel's gonna come fucking derailed and just barrel towards me. Crush my body. A thousand pieces. Hot dogs? Hot dogs! One dollar! This is the fun place! <laughs> Give me that. Scratch stalk through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sense than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him. His army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head. Waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. Filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true. Why is the audio these days? The, the clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. It looked like it was fixed for a second, but then it, then it wasn't. What can I say? Ooh. Okay, let's put... Honestly... I'm keeping this just in case because I was like, maybe I do want it at some point. We can get rid of another one of these. We have so many flares. I want the fucking crossbow though. Don't have the damn key. Or the code. Maybe it's like right here or something. I don't know. I mean, I was over there. It wasn't here. Or maybe I just have to. Maybe they want me to like return there. Because you probably return to a lot of these places. Hello? Oh god. Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Bro, who would be here right now? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Elmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Fuck. 
fuck, dude. <laughs> Creepy amusement parks are fucking... Oh, it's like my nightmare. You guys read Horrorland? Goosebumps? Motherfucker. What did you make it open with? A list of maintenance work. Hey, the lock is jammed again. I forced it last time with the screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Put shit back when you use it. All right, so we need a screwdriver. Log maintenance. 627. Coffee World entrance sign defaced. Cleaned with detergent. Wax sign. Should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Victor. Yako. Well, that's... I don't know why. I thought... Slow roaster pod is stuck. Won't swing. I hit it with some WD-40. Seems good for now. 719. Fallen tree or near Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy. Chainsawed and removed. Keeping the wood. 812. Several burned out bulbs on percolator. Replaced and ordered more bulbs. Squeaking on the Latte Lagoon car B. Tighten the bolts. Less bad now. Uh, percolator control panel jammed. Removed front with screwdriver. Found a penny in there? Uh... A screwdriver. Huh. Oh, okay. I mean, we're... I'm just... From what I'm gathering, the screwdriver's at the percolator, probably. Trial of the cold. What is this? Coffee world. Coffee world. The most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Bing, 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 bing. Trailer park key. It's in the gift shop, but it's locked. Getting inside the gift shop. We need a screwdriver. <laughs> and the screwdriver is near the percolator. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly... Standard procedure. Wants well, to get into my own house, so it should be okay. The clicker. He wanted to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold. Alright. Uh. Fuck me. Every single fucking bathroom's out of order. All right, uh, I'm fucking, uh, I'm so scared for like no reason. The percolator's where we need to go. We're gonna go away from it, obviously. We wanna check out the Espresso Express first. Oh, this is the cursed well. The, Huata the Huatari Well. 1913. Legends say, this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of Watari's history, this very well was where Ilmari Huatari hid the bodies of his victims. With the help of his brother, Jakapi Huatari. Ilmo and Jako? Yako. It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder like he himself believed? Is there more to this well than meets the eye? The parallels. Ooh, baby, another stash. What hides behind that smile? Jesus Christ, man. Okay. Well, we need to find a big old Coffee World mascot. Can I go in here? 
can't be opened on this uh, side. Kalavala Knights. So scared of something jumping out and fucking grabbing me. Uh, can I start this thing? Oh, 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 I need to probably find the generator. I don't know what starting it would do for me though. Uh, let's go this way. Fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Okay. Fine. Point of interest. Just the probably just the same fucking sign that I already read that for some reason it didn't count. Drives me crazy. Or not, I don't know. Alright, we can't go anywhere here yet. Behind that thing. Some kind of key. The mayor was here! When you ask, Mayor Seta will speak. <laughs> That's some fucking weird god shit. Behind this? I don't see anything here. God. <laughs> I like love and hate the mascot. It's so fucking freaky, but he's also so cute when he's not freaky, you know? A moosing mocha fax. Mocha's around six years old. Did you know moose can live up to 25 years? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Did you know moose are the largest species of deer in the world? I didn't know moose were considered deer. Mocha loves to swim. Did you know moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater? Yo, is that fucking true? Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. Did you know mocha is the only moose with a caffeine addiction? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is a small town fucking petting zoo. Doing fucked up shit to animals. Alright, uh, hold on. Moose dive water. Is this true? I need to know immediately. Can moose really dive? Did you know moose can dive as deep as five meters? This fact is repeated across blah, 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 blah. But is it true? If you look at all the mammals that excel in swimming in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, beavers and otters stand out as best swimmers. But. A moose has hooves and no tail. Can it really dive five to six meters? Here's what we know. Moose love water. <laughs> Here's what we know. Moose love water. They are also overheating. They are stressed by summer temperatures. As low as 60 Fahrenheit, bro, they aren't gonna last in the summer. Okay, I, I'm speed reading, blah, 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 blah. We also know moose are incredible swimmers. As far as hoofed animals go, they are capable of hitting at least six miles per hour in the water. That's fucking insane. That's insane! Can you imagine a moose fucking coming after you in a lake? That would be so fucking scary. That's so fast. They have also been observed swimming long distances, over 10 miles in search of food. That's so fucking crazy. 
Just about any mammal can swim, including animals that you think would instantly sink, such as pigs or armadillos. Sloths are surprisingly good swimmers. Even bats can swim. Bro, I don't know if I can trust any of this shit. But diving is another story. I'm still trying to figure out if this is true. Moose have several strikes against their diving ability. Thick fur coats, hollow air, hollow hair, uh, which makes them buoyant. Uh, blah, 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 blah. How would you, what would you do if you had to dive with a life jacket on? It's possible. It's hard, but you'd paddle your hands and feet like, yeah, yeah. You'd come up like almost instantly, though. Which I guess is trying to say why they could go five fucking meters. But despite these handicaps, moose frequently submerge their bodies entirely underwater in search of food. What do the experts have to say? Bro, they, this whole article hasn't actually answered anything. So we just don't know for certain if moose can dive over five meters deep. <laughs> Though there's anecdotal evidence that suggests they can. There's food down there. Aquatic plants still grow at depths of 10 to blah, 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 blah. It would be nice to prove it, but it's sure hard to convince a moose to dive as deep as it can for a scientific study. <laughs> Motherfucker, all that shit. I read all that shit. And it's like... It's possible. <laughs> Daredevil Moose dives off a cliff, swims away like nothing. No fucking way the Moose is gonna dive off this shit. This is... <laughs> this is... <laughs> this can't be great for anybody just listening because I can't <laughs> show the video. <laughs> Hold on, there's no way this Moose is gonna dive off this shit, dude! No shot. Oh my god, dude! Bro, that looked fucking crazy. That moose did not know how to dive properly at all. It looks like it's just flailing in the air. Hold on, I'll link the video. Oh shit. I'll link the video in Twitch chat. If you want to see a moose. Fucking plummet into the water. And swim. I mean, it looks like it swam away fine. It did not look like it really fucking hit the water fine. Looked fucked up. Oh, now my fucking game's all laggy again. Mocha the moose. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside the Fresh Pot gift shop. Though limping from a leg injury, the, the wily moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much needed uh, coffee break, brewing up some uh, coffee world's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared, drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's signature blend. Since then, Mocha the moose has become a beloved fixture of coffee world, welcoming guests from across the country as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give them the mocha seal of approval. Amazing. I fucked up my game's performance for that. Well, if we hit a save, I'll, I'll reset my game again. I can't, I can't believe I have to keep doing that. Is there a... Can I, like, walk up this? I just want to see... Well, actually, it seems fine. But they said the... Well, maybe there's more of these, because there was, like, a... Like, an arch above the one that was shown on that thing. So I think I'm looking for a... A mascot underneath an arch or something. Mm. 
Okay. It really does like... Like, alt having just fucks this game up. Can't get into here. Okay, where is the... Okay, I need to look at this again to see where the fuck I have gone. Okay, that's okay. That is how I get the fuck out of here so that I can go to the lighthouse, which we don't need to go yet. We need to go up towards. You go this way. Any little secrets or anything? No. Nightmare. Is it behind here? No. How do I get to the fucking... This is back to the gift shop. How do I get to the damn... Okay, the percolator is this way. Guess we'll go down this way. We, yeah, 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 we went under there. Two dollars equals five bolts. All the damn bolts, but I don't have the crossbow because I didn't have the code. Nothing I could have done about that, though. Percolator. Alright, well, that's where the screwdriver is. Oh. Jesus. Fuck me. Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Thank God. What the fuck? Take me there, though? Let me listen. Cassette tape? Where's the cassette tape? Oh, is that... Is that like a fucking key item or something? It is a key item. Hmm. So much shit. And none of this is what I, I want. I need a key for one of those chests, and I need like multiple codes. Latte Lagoon. We haven't been here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anything here? Can I walk in the water? No, not really. Good. <laughs> good, 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 good. I don't want to fucking go in there. Alright. I've stalled as much as possible. Go to the percolator. Screwdriver, not just right here. I'm gonna get attacked. Oh, fuck you, you! Oh, fuck! You moving? Oh, fuck. 
fuck? Oh, they got the freak ass masks on too. Hello? Am I hitting him? No, he's he's Okay. Ow, motherfucker. This dude's shadow protected. Or is he? Is he dead? He's dead. Fuck me. Hey, this should get that gift shop open. Back to the achievements being fucking bugged as shit again. God, I used all my ammo on that one motherfucker because I couldn't... I, this guy wasn't shade protected, so I thought the other dude wasn't either, but he was. Game saved. Okay, good. Okay, let me restart again. Sorry this keeps happening, but I think if that's, if that's actually the case, that the game just uh, gets really fucked when I alt-tab, I just need to do everything I can to not alt-tab. I keep looking at things, which I just shouldn't do. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Uh, I have to wait for it to fucking sync up or whatever. Relaunching, don't alt tab no matter what. We don't even have, we have very little time anyway. It's 1.30, we have at, at two we have the, uh, but we can probably finish, we can probably finish up uh, this amusement park, I imagine. 30 minutes? So it's fine. They won't start like right on time anyway. Hopefully. See, look, the game performs like perfectly fine. So weird. All right. Oh fuck. There's a bunch of them. Just one more. Nice. We are not doing great ammo wise right now. I should have thrown the fucking propane tank at them. We wasted so much fucking ammo. I also don't have that many battery packs. We going the right way? This way. Okay, the screwdriver is pogged though, because the screwdriver opens up a ton of shit for us. I have like four or five locks that I need the screwdriver to get through. Now where is that safe? Where is the safe and do we have the ability to open it? Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend, and I apologize to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed in with the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. 
She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Fuck. Oh, thank you. That's everything that we needed. You know what? That's actually crazy. Do those... Do these have stuff in them depending on, like, how much stuff you have? Because I opened a ton of those recently that had basically, like, were literally empty. If that's how it works, that's really fucking cool. I guess a toy knife will do. Toy puko knife? Is for what? Hey, Elmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir pukos? Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? Oh, right, it was yours. Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report, but then bam, they say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe he just had a bad ticker? No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance, Ilmo. Fuck, dude. Locked. How did you change the damn password to the safe again? I thought it was lookout fixer supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid, Yako? Calm down, this one's easy. Tracker lookout cleaner. See, not rocket scientist. Tracker lookout cleaner? The fuck are you talking about? It's something here, yeah. Staff. Tracker? Not all monsters now. What the hell's going on? News of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesday's Bring Your Dog to Coffee World Day. The photos have stickers on them. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. Fuck, dude. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we will fix it as soon as possible. Susan, lost and found. Stuart, maintenance. Thomas, ride operator. Jonas, security. Nina, gift shop. Victor, janitor. Lucy, caregiver. Robin, park walk around. Anna, concession stand. None of those are the jobs that were listed. Getting inside the gift sh the trailer park key. Here we go. Gift shop safe is locked. Safe combo. A board listing staff members and their jobs. Okay. No two employees share the same responsibilities. Stickers indicate how long they've worked. And the hint. Tracker, cleaner, tracker, lookout, and cleaner. I'm gonna have to fucking look at that shit again. Hope oh, this is not the one we needed. Nursery rhymes. We got some old ones in the lunch boxes. Okay. And then profile, we got a profile of these guys. The janitor is the cleaner, but I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzles, Zuma. Why don't you just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yako. Yako's right, Yako's right. Smart people can think up good puzzles. Oh, shut up. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Could have told you that myself. I bet Ilmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudoku's. Safe combo built, built based off clues in the gift shop. Okay, well, is there any other clues besides that? Just to make sure. No. 
Something here, maybe. Jeff. Jeff has got to be the tracker. Because Jeff is looking for a new moose. Where's Jeff? There's no fucking Jeff, dude! Okay, Victor is the janitor. He's the cleaner. What was the fucking clue again? Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Lookout. Lookout's probably security? Tracker. The lost and found? The one, four, six. Try that. Try one, four, six. Let's fucking go, it's bro. My trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. I'm cracked as hell. I did not go right here. Another cult stash. Only striped cups. Oh, that's easy. Six? No. Seven? <laughs> ten? Does ten count? No, no, no. Seven and then whatever this one is. Thirteen? Oh, one. And then one, two, three, four, one, four, seven. Ski. Do not take what is not yours. This is all mine, motherfucker. Thing creeps me out. Where now? I just wish I could figure out what the hell the other one was with the dude. Um, the coffee pot under the under the arch. Just don't know where that could be. I would have thought it's this one, because this is the biggest one here. Maybe it's just not a place that I can go yet. I have to think that I could have gotten the crossbow by now, because... Like... I would have found it, basically. Or, no, not, not. What am I talking about? Because I've found so many bolts and stuff. Oh, look at that. There's got to be a lunchbox nearby. There's a lunchbox nearby. Easter egg. Are they leading towards this area or away? Probably away. Oh, yeah, 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 over here. 
Maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 this way. Over here, whose fucking truck is parked here? Can't stop. I, I don't want to like, try. I want to look at everything. I need to astral project into two bodies. Light out. Where are the Easter eggs, though? They were leading over here. Can I just literally walk this way? What the fuck, dude? This is just back into town. The bridge isn't flooded anymore. Fuck is this lunchbox? Should I go all the way up to the lighthouse? I guess why not? As long as it doesn't impede my progress, I have to assume that there's something that I could get. And I think I've missed a lot of shit. At least it feels like it. There's another lunchbox. Here's the lunchbox. Oh my god, they were hard hiding this shit from me. Ooh, baby! But then almost at the same time, but not quite, another hand grabbed my other wrist. It was my childhood's friend's estranged twin brother. A rugged ex-soldier who helped me fight back the zombie horde. With his chiseled jaw and smoldering eyes, and worn leather jacket, my heart fluttered like a small bird against its cage. Ignore him, babe. You know who I'm... You... <laughs> You know I'm who you want. A sensitive friend I had cared for all my life, or the intense warrior I had known for one harrowing day. How was I ever going to choose? The zombies were easier than this. Alright, so that's the fan fiction that person wanted me to not read, but... Well... We're already there. Wish I had ammo in here. How much time? We have like 15 minutes. Okay, well, it saves right there. We can look at the water. Oh, motherfucker. Fuck, there's a bunch of them. Headshot was a stun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I quick turning? There we go. We got two bullets. That's great. Fuck. Okay, so I was doing pretty decent at the combat before, and now I'm doing pretty dog shit. Oh my god, look at all these dolls. Mother. Wise elder. Trickster. Need the key. Great. <laughs> I didn't take any damage though. So. Another rhyme. An old watcher of the sea, before his demise, cursed the waters that ruined his eyes. So he played a trick on the ocean deep, the ways to fight and havoc to reap. And in doing that wrong, lost his soul's song. We're just putting the trickster here? Played a trick on the ocean deep. The waves to fight. Waves to fight? Hero. 
Lost his soul's song. Songbird? First the waters that ruined his eyes. An old watcher of the sea. Eyes of Elder? Or maybe the Elder got his eyes ruined. And he played a trick on the sea. Makes sense. Let's go! Fuck, dude. Did that cause this to happen? I can almost never tell. Oh, motherfucker. Get toasted, bitch. I can almost never tell what those things actually do. Oh, I can't open this one? Come on. Oh, all the beer! Uh... Gotta be something up here, right? Uh, screwdriver! Pog, we got some ammo back. I gotta get my aim together. Oh, there's a cold stash up here too. Let's grab this, we'll save, and then we'll we'll get set up for this uh Oh, mother of God. I got a... Okay. Diamond. Three, two. Is that it? Diamond, three, two? Diamond. How are you supposed to fucking figure out the rest? What? Diamond? Maybe it's fake? Oh shit. Okay, there's something. So two. That's the two upside down. One. Oh wait, one is... Okay, hold on. What the fuck? One is this. Three. And two is... Two is up? Oh, three is... Two is up. I did it on accident. <laughs> well, kind of. Not completely. Getting the Anderson brothers on board would be a big win for us. So I'm sure offering a $100 Superstore gift card, plus a year's worth of free coffee at the Oh Dear Diner to whoever gets those two to join. Let's get recruiting. Cult recruiting. Let's go. All right. Let's save. And then get everything set up. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't need the bolts, we don't have anything to use it with. Need more batteries. Okay. Oh. I was like, I just saved and then I just fucking, uh... Moved everything around. All right, all right, let's close this out. Uh, where are 
are they streaming? Twitch. Co-streaming is allowed, seemingly. I assumed it was, so. Let's see, I gotta remember how to fucking do this shit. I haven't done this in a while. I gotta not fuck this up as well. I gotta not just show shit. What the hell? Uh... 